And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV with Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of The CW's Gotham Knights, Season 1, Episode 8. Now, spoilers ahead if you're not caught up to Gotham yet or you just don't care. So, um, so we all know the team, they're still continuing their quest to try to figure out what the heck is the Court of Owls up to. And why they are so interested in Gotham. Why they killed Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman. And why is Turner and his friends being framed for a crime that they didn't even commit. We also get to see some moments with Harvey Dent. You know, he's still trying to put some clues together about what, where was he. Go, you know, what's what, his connection to the Court of Owls and what's going on with him. You know, he's waking up in strange places, not knowing things, finding things in, in his possession that he has no idea where it came from. So we get to see that. Plus, the team, meaning Turner and Duella, they decide to go play dress up and enter a Court of Owls um, meeting to try to get back, try to get information about what's their, what they're planning. But they end up finding out that they have a map of Gotham that they need to get back because um, it may help them figure out what their plan of action is. And when you look at the party, obviously it feels old school, Dallington Abbey style. But if Dallington Abbey met with um, Hay Handmaid's Tale, as creepy as it is with the Court of Owls, you know, creepy mask that they got. So, you know, typical thing. They get in, they try to infiltrate, they find out that there's a traitor among them. And they find out that the traitor is um, Turner's, I guess... Um, former guardian, the woman who betrayed him, person. So, um, yeah, they were going to kill her, and Turner decided to help out. Duella escaped. Turner tries to save her. She gets killed anyway, and now Turner has basically been caught and now is in the hands of the Court of Owls, who's one of the members of the Court of Owls. We find out is one of the guys running for the mayor of Mayor of Gotham, who the Court of Owls attacked. So there's that. Plus, we also got to see some moments with Stephanie Brown dealing with the fact that her mother's a drug addict and she doesn't want to give that up and, you know, try to force her daughter to get her prescription pills. So interesting episode, but um, eh, we have to wait and see what happens what next well, two weeks from now since it's going out of the break. But it was funny seeing Duella and Turner, you know, with their chemistry kind of be kind of like a Batman Catwoman kind of situation where they, 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 they look cute together, but they kind of like polar opposites in a way. So there's something there. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode, because honestly, I thought this episode was OK. No idea what's going to happen with Turner. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing. I forgot the ending. Um, Harvey Dent, it looks like he's going to be framed for a crime that he didn't commit. So, what's the agenda with the Court of Owls trying to frame frame Harvey Dent? Now that that other guy is a part of the court, is he the leader? Not the leader? Are they trying to get him to become the mayor by, by getting rid of Harvey Dent? So, it would be more easier for him to become the mayor? A lot of answers to be answered, but uh, we have to wait and see. So, let me comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good night.